I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Forever Licensing Board. Today is Wednesday, January 16th. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present, and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. When your names are called, please come down to the table and please state your name and address for the record. First item is common vitual licenses, Can't Heat Craft Beer Company, 52 Ferry Street, Miles Wilson. I'm representing Miles. My name is Matthew, his brother. Okay. I'm one of the co owners. At uh, 52 Ferry Street, Fall River. Okay. You can have a seat if you want. Okay, can you just tell us what you're looking for? Well, uh, my, my understanding is I need to be present here so that we can continue a process of serving light fare in our in our brewery. Okay. Um, we're primarily a manu you know craft brew, uh, beer manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a tap uh, tap room, and uh, it's a law to uh, provide some form of food for our our patrons, our customers, and so um, in accordance to uh, our lease with our, our landlord, we're um, following through with uh, light fare offerings, uh, pre-cooked food that we properly warm back, warm up to so proper it's temperatures. So prepared that's going to be brought in, it, you're yeah, just going to reheat it. It's reheated, yep. We have okay. uh, steaming tables, uh, and we make things like, you know, kind of fancier hot dogs, nachos. Okay. Um, and that license you want to run with the, the license for the brewery? Correct. The same hours? Yes, sir. With that, do they need a sanitary certificate. Have you spoken to, have you spoke to the health department? Yes. So yeah. you all set with that? Yeah. Do you have one? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We don't need a police report. No. Any questions? No questions. No. The only other thing, I don't know if you put them on it. Get the hours up on the door or on the glass in that front area. Yeah, you mentioned that. That's no right. No problem. Yes. Um, uh, I know you said you were going to sort them out, but now that you guys been open for yeah. a while. Okay. Uh, especially with the food side of it, too. Let's get those up there. Hours on the door, sure. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Okay. Any other questions? No questions. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? I'm going to make a motion that we grant the Calavicula license. Now, second the motion. So motion made and seconded to grant. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. Good Thank luck. you. Thank Thank you. Just have to pick the license up from Carrie, okay? Okay. Thank you. How, how much, how long is that? You can pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sure. Thank and you. make sure it's displayed. It's got to be oh, visible yeah. to the public. Project. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Troy City Brewery, 16 Anawan Street, Michael Ferreira. Good evening, Michael Ferreira, 21 CB Street, Water of Mass. Okay. The same thing, you're requesting uh, Common Victor's license for uh, the same thing, light fair at our brewery. And the same thing, you're not going to prepare food Correct. there, right? It's, it's off-site brought in. Correct, mm -hmm. yep. Just one question on sure. your application. Right. It doesn't say what your seating capacity is. Oh, sure, it's 75. 75. Right. Can I write that in? Sure. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Is there anyone else in favor? Is there anyone opposed? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the common victuallers license. I'll second that motion. Mo motion made and seconded to approve. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there? We're going to do that on the 23rd. Oh, so we're not mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks Lorenzo's Bakery, 391 Robeson Street, Lorenzo Vasquez. Hello, Lorenzo Vasquez. One of Lorenzo's Bakery. Okay, so this was one of the licenses that did not renew timely, and unfortunately, he missed. He was late for the last meeting. The meeting had been closed. Um, since that meeting last week, have you been open, or have you had people sitting in the restaurant, or no, just take out? Just take out, but we closed a couple of days too. So okay. Okay, so you remember next year. There's no second chances. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Is there anyone else in favor? Is there anyone opposed? I'll make a motion that we approve the Colin Vickers license. And I'll second the motion. 
the motion made and seconded to approve. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nutrition on Duval, 1082 Duval Street, Anna Lee. State your name and address, please, for the record. An elite, 1082, Duval Street, Fall okay. River. Um, can you just tell us why you didn't renew this, the uh, license on time? Complete, complete, you know, was uh, under that papers, you know, at work, and, you know, complete forgot. I'm so sorry. Well, you, you don't have to be sorry to us. You'd be sorry to yourself if you lose the license. Yeah. Okay. And then when you were reminded there was a meeting, you didn't come to that meeting either, right? Last week? Yes, yes. You, so yeah. you missed that two, two opportunities uh -huh. you missed. Okay, no. Since you weren't at that meeting, I'll tell you what was said, mm -hmm. that these licenses that are being handed out tonight, there are gonna be no second chances in 2019. If you do not file timely, the license will be revoked okay. December 31st, mm -hmm. okay? Anyone else? Any questions? No questions? No questions. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone opposed? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we grant the common victualler's license. Motion. I'll second that motion. So motion made and seconded to grant. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Show us this. Thank you. Starbucks, 800 William S. Canning Boulevard, Jason Ash. Uh, Holly Oba, 22 Otis Street, Fall River, Massachusetts. I am the store manager for Starbucks, uh, Fall River. Okay. Same easy, question. They took the easy way out. Yeah, they didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any explanation why you guys didn't apply? I did some digging and found out that our license analyst that works out of Seattle had some disconnect with getting the, the application and everything in a timely manner to us. Normally, they situate all this for on our behalf. Um, but they ended up sending everything through mail that was unbeknownst to me, so mm -hmm. lack of communication. Okay. Our biggest problem we're facing is that last week when the license was suspended, you know, no one showed up at the meeting, so you shouldn't have been open. And we got a complaint at 1 o'clock this morning that you were serving people in there, and no one should have been served to sit down and consume on the premises. So you've been, these other people didn't open, you've been open right. without the license. We, we, I was made known, made known of this yesterday and we made it a point to close down our cafe and only serve through drive through Understanding that we should- last night, the person that- Oh, the last night, I'm sorry. That you were, there were people sitting there in the, in the building. Yeah, just, we were completely unaware. Um, Ignorance and, is not an excuse in the I law. agree. Um, we and also Starbucks must know that you need licenses to operate a business. So it's not a good situation. I, mean, I don't know how the board's going to feel about it, but you've been singled out because we've received a complaint specifically about your store. I understand. Okay, so people, are, believe it or not, people actually watch these meetings because they quoted from the tape of the meeting and said that you were, you were operating in violation of the of our verdict that you had no license so I don't know what the board feels about that um, are you the manager on record now I, I am Mr. manager um, I think there was a, a miscommunication with Jason Ash who was the project manager during the build out I'm just wondering if it came back in front of us that have you appointed as the manager also since you know this fell through the cracks I'm assuming that's the so Jason thing. Jason was the guy from South Coast marketplace right Jason Ass was our contact person during the building process. I haven't um, connected with him since last year, since open. If you remember, when I went there to do the inspection, there was some confusion over who was supposed to be there when they were supposed to be there, too. So I think you need to get your communication lines correct. You need to respond to Carrie and tell her who is the contact, where it's to be sent, you should know that in November, it goes before the board in November. You miss that meeting, December 31st, you're out of business. The whole thing will be shut down. Got it. Okay? Right now, I wouldn't, you know, 
I, we have to think about it. How do we respond to this, especially since someone complained about it? Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. either we have to put something on file. I, yeah. And just to say with, you know, piggyback on what you said too, I, I feel bad that you're here. I think you kind of get thrown to the wolves to some degree. I, I think the representative, I, obviously they pay someone to do these licenses. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the title is, you said. But until they can pick up the license, I think it's imperative that that person gets in touch with Kerry. So you know, you understand our process, and we understand whatever process you have currently. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of licenses in the city. And only three people didn't do things right, um, and there's got to be a reason for it. So, right. um, excuse me, but um, I think we've got to put a, a, a memo on file at least and make the motion. Um, I did try to rectify with Carrie earlier by seeing if you can add me as a point contact person going forward so that I can be and that that's fine as long as your corporate right understands what's being done I understand you know I mean if you you can file the paperwork if you don't have the authority to pay the fee if that's got to come from a different which it may in the corporate scheme right. of things it's just got to be done timely okay so maybe you need to make a note you know like September 1st you need to contact Carrie what's yeah, the process situation. get that we don't know if any of us will be here in September. God only right. knows what's going same, to happen. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a long Starbucks, by the way. But just, you know, I think maybe if you can mark it in some kind of overall scheme of things with your business right. so it doesn't happen again. You can't imagine the number of complaints we get, the people who follow all of this, the people who this person drove out there specifically last night to see if you were open. Wow. I mean, I have my own thoughts on that, but it is it what is it is. is. So no, I, it does I understand. Respond. It reported to us. We That's have to black respond and white. to I it. Totally you know? get it. So we don't want you to feel, I don't want you to feel that I'm picking on you, but I am picking on you to a certain degree because you're here. You're right. the person that's here. But it's not fair to the little mom and pop people who do everything themselves and don't have all of these at these. Um, administrative people available to them who get everything done and get it filed timely and, and do it. So just going forward, you need to be very well aware of that. So if you want to put a, a memo in the file yeah, to say that file what for, happened this time. That way, because, I mean, you're not saying that you weren't open. So, I mean, we have to at least acknowledge it for sure. Um, okay. I'll make the motion. So there's a motion to, are you making a motion? Yes, yeah, so I'll make a motion grant? that we approve the uh, common vehicular's license. Um, Pending clarification, who we need to contact okay. for the future, um, and I'll also make a motion that we are putting a memo on the file due to the incident that happened yesterday, where they were <coughs> operating without a license or active. Okay, so actually, we're going to do two motions: one to place a memo in the file. Um, is that seconded? I'll second that motion. Motion yeah. made and seconded to grant uh, to put the memo in the file, and, and then there's a motion to. Okay. Approve the license. Approve the comment. Right. License. There's a motion to approve the and, license. And I'll second that motion. Seconded. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for coming. Thank okay. you. And please make sure you get that information. I to appreciate it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Change of hours. Sunset Variety. 508 Bowen Street. Good evening, Attorney Julia Barron with Brainsky Levinson, 1543 Fall River Avenue in Sipunk, representing Sunset Variety. Okay. Uh, we are here seeking um, a change of hours to extend the Sunday hours from 2 p.m. until 11 p.m. to remain competitive with the surrounding businesses. There was previously an approval of um, a transfer of liquor license and the previous business had hours till 2 p.m. To 2. What time do you open on Sundays? Open on, is it 6 o'clock? 6 to 11. 6 in the morning? Yes. Okay. But the beer license we can sell from after 10. Right now is a 10 to 2. Right, so your store is open. Oh, the like store you is open. Sell no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. I know people but live on Bowen Street. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so your alcohol sales it's start at 10? 10 to 2 or right 10 now. 10 to 2. So now you want to go 10 to, to 11. Yeah, yeah. Just on Sundays? Yeah, only Sundays. Yeah, just on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I was kind of thrown there. Okay. Um, no police report? So we don't need it, right? Because it's just, just an extension. Yeah. Really recently. Okay. Um, 
have no issues. No issues, no. no. We haven't no had any issues, issues at all. So, all right, so you want to remain with the 10 o'clock opening and extend to 11 p.m.? Yes, sir. Okay. Remain. Okay. Any questions? No. Is no. there so anyone else here? Do you have any other questions, comments? You're doing a good job, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyone else here in favor? Anyone opposed? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the change of hours. I'll second that motion. Okay, there's a motion made and second to approve the change of hours. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So thank you for coming. Thank that you. Do it no. no, right? You no, do it locally. Yeah, you can just bring So it. you'll have to bring the license back to Carrie. Okay. And she'll give you a new license that will have the, the, the extended hours, hours, hours on it. So you'll be able to open this weekend. Okay. Okay? Thank you All so right, much. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you, thank you for coming yeah, in. Thank you. Have a good Change of DBA, the Red Hen, 85 yeah. Hanawan Street. How are you? Good, and you? Good, good. We were just here, too. Can you say your name and address for the record? Alex Colazzo, 274 Lincoln Ave, Fall River, Massachusetts, 02720. Okay, tell us what you're looking to do, please. I'm looking to change my DBA officially um, from what was the Ace Bar and Lounge to the Red Hat. Okay. How's it going so far? So far, so good. good stuff. Everything's good been fantastic. Here. Turnout's been great. Great, good to see you. Anna One's flourishing between the breweries and... Uh, the, nice. the yeah, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. things happening. It's been fantastic, yeah. so I look I look forward to the spring. Good, the weather weather breaks. Really good weather coming, should be good for yeah. all of you. So good. I should see, I'll probably be back next month doing some change of hours myself. So. Wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. you have any questions? No questions. No questions. All right. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? I'll make a motion that we grant the change of DBA. And I'll second that motion. The motion made and seconded to allow the change of the DBA. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Scott. Well, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. <clears throat> Pledge of license, the Cocky Rose Society, Inc., 602 3rd Street, Jeff Griffin. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening. State your name and address for the record, please. Jeff Griffin, 602 3rd Street, Fall River, Mass. Okay, and you're looking to pledge the license to jobs for Fall River, Inc.? Yes. Correct? Yes. So obviously you're getting some kind of financing? Yes, sir. Okay, and you can just tell us how long the financing is for? It's for, um, I believe, 20 years. Okay. of the promissory note? You haven't closed yet, have you? No, it's actually that's uh, January 23rd. Okay, you're going to close? Yes. Before this can go to Boston for approval, we need a copy of the actual side note. So, Carrie, you can actually get it from Jobs, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, she can get it from them. Okay. okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do have some paper, but I don't think this is... No. That's What's, probably that's just it? your commitment letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. okay. It's not a problem. Okay. So if it were to be approved, it would have to be approved subject to the receipt of okay. the, the yes. promissory note. And that'd be coming from jobs before. Yeah, and Carrie can get that once it closes. You okay. know what? Once you close, just call Carrie and tell her it's closed so she can get the note from the jobs of the office. Okay. And then she can forward it to Boston. Perfect. We talk okay. every other day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my wife ever looks at my phone, she's thinking I'm having an affair. <laughs> that was nice on camera. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, you just said it oh, on God. TV. <laughs> I, I know. That's right. She's probably watching. Yeah. yeah, she's probably watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions? No. We're not doing no. any uh, renovations or anything, no inspections needed. No. no. Is no. this just we working just, capital you It getting? is. We yeah. just switched uh, financial institutions, right. basically. Right, paid off another mortgage. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, All right. Questions? Better rates. Because we had done this, yeah, we had done this last year or the year before. Yes, last we did. Mm -hmm. bank well, out. that was when we went with the, uh, the parking lot. Correct. Okay. All right. Any questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. All right. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the pledge of license pending receipt of the promise. There we That's go. Right. I'll second that motion. 
a motion made and seconded to grant. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Good luck. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Guys. Thank you. Thank you, Kerry. Don't forget to call him up. Well, at least like, I can call me on the 23rd. Yeah, call Kerry once you close, okay? If not, no worries. Change of manager, Papa Gino's. Make a motion Inc. at the table. Second the motion. There's a motion made and seconded to table. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Change of hours, Farver Lodge of Elks. 4500 North Main Street, Stephanie Mata. Mata, I'm sorry. Hi, Stephanie Mata, 42 Kennedy Street, Far River Mass. Okay, so we have a request that says they're seeking permission to extend daily operating hours. Yes. Current hours are Monday to Thursday, 1 p.m. to 12 a.m., Friday, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 a.m., Sunday, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yes. They are hoping to be open Monday to Thursday, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., so that's an hour earlier. Friday, 12 p.m. to 1 a.m., that's an hour earlier. Saturday, 11 to 1, Sunday, 12 to 12. Yes. So really, it's Monday to Monday to Friday, They're asking you're asking to open an hour earlier, yes. correct? Yes. Um, is it because you're doing really good business or are you trying to do more business? We're trying to do more to business. To do more business and yes. open a little bit earlier. Okay. Well, as long as I've been here, there's never been a problem with you. No. With you at all. We've never had any <laughs> issues, so um, I don't see any problem with that. Um, hopefully it works for you. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else here in favor? Anyone opposed? Any motions? I'll make a motion that we grant the change of hours. And I'll second the motion. Motion made and seconded to grant. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, you, same thing, you can bring the old license in. Terry can give you a new license. Okay, great. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Change of offices, directors, managers, change of stock, SJ Ray Inc., Raj Inc., DBA Royal Liquors. Miriam McGonigal, the Davis Law Group, 15 Cottage Ave, in Quincy, Mass, on behalf of S.J. Raj. Okay, so we have a lot of things going on here. The Tell us what's going on. The corporation has um, filed to amend its license to change its uh, stockholders. Okay. Right now, the corporation is owned by Naran Patel and Paresh Patel. Each owns 50% of the common stock in the corporation. Okay. They're a father and son. Mm -hmm. Naran Patel is retiring. He'd like to resign his positions with the corporation and as a director and transfer his stock, gift it, to his nephew, Tarun Patel. Tarun Patel has worked at the Royal Liquors since the Patels bought the business in 2005. He's um, lived in Fall River since that time. He's a member of the community here. So there would be no significant changes in the business. He would become a director of the corporation as well. Okay, so it's, it's really paperwork housekeeping. Yes, it's just Probably a matter there's of... there's no changes. No, there'd be no changes. It's really Mr. P Teron Patel's estate planning and business planning at this time. Who, who's the manager? Paresh Patel. And there, he, there would be no change, no change in that, in that manager. Okay. okay. And we have a police report, and it's fine. Questions from the members of the board? No questions. No questions. Anything else you want to tell us? I have the quarries and some filing fees for Carrie. Okay. All right. So this is the check. And we're going to switch with the hand. This is the whole hand one. Yeah. Okay. She gets that and get that and get that. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right. So I think everything is here. So it's still going to remain 50-50? Yes, it will. And nothing changes as no, far as the ownership or anything? No. Other than the person owning the other It will 50%. be Tarun Patel 50% and Paresh Patel 50%. And whatever the, the person that's leaving, you're going to assume the positions that he had. He will right. he'll be a director. 
Paresh Patel will now hold all the offices of President, Treasurer, Clerk. Okay. Okay. All right. You got all that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think we have yeah. to do one, one two, separate. three, four, four votes. Yep. Four motions. To make sure so. Is there anyone else here in favor? And you must be. <laughs> 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 anyone opposed? Okay. Fire away, Eric. I'll make a motion that we grant the change of officers. And I'll second that motion. Motion made and seconded to allow the change of officers. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. I'll make a motion that we make uh, change, uh, approve the change of directors. And I'll second that motion. It's a motion made and seconded to allow the change of directors. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion that we change the LLC managers. And I'll second that motion. It's a motion made and seconded to change the LLC managers. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion that we make uh, approve the change of stock interest. And I'll second that motion. It's a motion made and seconded to allow the change of stock ownership. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. So, right. so that's all. We'll go to Boston. Carrie will get it out of here in the next couple of days. So as soon as that comes back, she'll notify you. Thank you very okay. much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you for much. coming in. Uh, transfer of license, Cityside Pizza and Tavern Inc. Um, I'm sorry. Cityside Pizza and Tavern Fall River, LLC. Correct. 207 Rhode Island Avenue. Steve Parrott. Yes. You must be Steve Parrott. I am he. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could you state your name and address for the record, please? Uh, Steve Parrott, 234 uh, Tremont Street, Fall River, Mass. 02720, I think it is over there. I just moved. <laughs> okay, tell us what you're looking to do. Uh, so we have um, made an agreement to buy the business of A1 Pizza and Pub, and um, so uh, I'm a 40-year restaurant guy. So myself and my partner Chris Woodard are the ones that acquired it, and um, we're looking to have it be a family-style restaurant. So we're going to change it up a little bit in the sense of our what we thought it was from the get-go was mainly a bar. You know, they did do food, but. So, you know, we've done some cosmetic cleanup and uh, some new flooring paint and things that are going to make it more attractive. Um, I've owned six restaurants over the last 25 years. It's really going to be family based. So, you know, we want to see full families in there from begin from the day time we open in the day till the evening. Our price points are going to be um, more than competitive in the city of Fall River. Um, you know, we'll have early lunch. We'll have delivery from the pizza and um, sub side will do and that we're opening that back up so it's its own sandwich and sub shop on that side i think he had made it into basically a takeout area before mm -hmm. so we've taken that back apart and putting we're putting a few seats back in there so that'll be on its own all right so one question sure so you you are making renovations so we didn't uh, well we took down the wall he had there in the pizza shop that kind of split the rest yeah, the yeah that's well actually it was, was a door there there was a door so the door is still there he had put. Um, I think well, no, I I didn't because all we did. Well, I don't know if that's all. So we just took. There was a wall that the person before us put up, and the owner said that he didn't want it there because it, the 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 owner of the building had it so that it was set up like a one. It was still in his family, Charlie. Mm -hmm. um, right. Yeah. And then Jonathan put up a wall. And Charlie requested when we took it over to take the wall down or move it back to where it was. So it's the it's the existing wall. Jonathan had just pulled it out five feet, and we just put it back to exactly where it was on the floor. Okay. You can we see that we just have to make sure that what we approve yes. is the plan that's in our file. Okay. Because that is available to the police. Yes. So we know what we approved. Yep. So if you, we're gonna see those. Plans. Open yeah. open. Uh, I'm hoping to open next week. All right, so we want to open. That's not going to happen. This no. is going to go to Boston and everything. Um, we, we'll get to open as soon as we can, but we're going to get to Boston. <laughs> yeah, we, I was going to say, we'll, I'll definitely get by there. I can do a quick inspection. Eric can go oh. do the inspection. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. We can get yep. that quick. Um, I mean, if, if the board does approve it, I mean, I know Carrie does. She says it's it still everywhere. Jonathan's name, so yeah. I think Jonathan's going to be on the premises. Correct. So yeah, so, so everything he, is still in his name because he said he's going to keep him on for a while. Yeah, so he's so 
you know, we could, so we they have could to come back in. But did they renew the license? Okay. So it is renewed. So it's yes. renewed under Jonathan okay. saying, yeah, so we, there is a license. We can yes. Away. And if he's there, yep. he's got to be there. Though, yep. So, so this is what he, this is what Jonathan said. So he'll work whenever we need him to be there, obviously. Right. We need him there seven days a week yeah. for the next couple of weeks. So this comes back from Boston. Is that what it? No, is that serious? In, I mean, we got to get him in there a little yeah. time. Well, he could be in every day. Yeah, he already yeah. said that yeah. he's doing stuff in the morning, but he's. Is he the manager on the current license? Yeah. He is. He is. Yep. So he has to be there. <clears throat> yeah. Who's the manager on the new license? Shane. Shane. Calder. Come, on, you come Calder down and talk to us. I think that's how I submitted it. Is there a second one? <coughs> I think we're going to go off the picture. I put him in his partner. So it says Stephen and Christopher. Yeah, so I think, and I thought I put it all on there when I did it, because Shane's our, he's our managing partner, so he'll, he'll be there um, every day, and any day he's not there, I'm there. I don't think I had a Shane. So we'll have to do It's, it's again, Christopher. Subjective. Yeah, so I can. Stephen. Query request. Query request is. Steve is Christopher. Corey requests is Steve. There's nothing for Shane. That was that was my breakdown because I had all three of us and maybe did not submit his Corey back. Yeah, if you want him to be the man. Yeah. I've been saying anything in here, Carrie, about the manager. The, well, the forms are very different. It's odd. There's nothing that says manager, John. Contact, I think, the new one. And one after this. So one. all those pages and stuff we used to get, we don't get anymore. No, it's all changed. I've had to revamp. Covenant ownership. Did you put Who's John? Oh, Jonathan's the current owner, right? Yeah. So that's this, hundred percent. And proposed offices is Christopher and Stephen. Yeah, that's it. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, is that correct? That's correct. So as a managing partner, so I was a managing partner for Ruby Tuesday, so it wasn't ownership of stock. So he gets some um, profit shares Steve, at the end of the year. Let's see what it says about the, nope. the manager. Can I this page if not proposed? Manager, I think. Office is a no, stock. He didn't pull that portion up. And the yeah, it's, there's nothing here about a manager. Okay, so how can I rectify it and take care of it? That was a breakdown on my part. You really can't. You have to refile it for February. Um, okay. Well, what it it has been published? It doesn't have it's to the be. the 23rd. For the change of manager, I don't have to. What's the 23rd? We have another meeting next week. Sure. Well, I didn't know that. It's on 12th, one of the quarter. Cool. Cool. Yeah, the package store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you could be on the agenda on the 23rd. Okay. And you're going to have to watch that to make sure all the pages get done. As far as when it comes in front of the board? Yeah. No, it's when it gets submitted to you. So you know, because there's nothing here about a new manager. It'll, it'll be submitted tomorrow morning. I mean, I, I'm yeah, sure. I'm just saying this is a new form. This is yeah. brand new to us. I'm the one that printed it So what I'm saying is when it comes to you, Carrie, mm -hmm. you got to go through this to make sure. I normally do. That's my that everybody's. Well, no, it's not. It's I both your I never met Shane. I never met him before. Yeah. So I didn't know who he was. I only All right. know who the other Well, while you're here, Shane, tell us <laughs> what your Let's experience you. being a manager. I have been in the business for over 30 years. I've managed on both corporate restaurants, food service for Sodexo, Aramark, private restaurants as well. Okay. I currently am 100% owner in a restaurant and food truck in Cranston, Rhode Island as well. So when this place opens and you are the man, if you get approved as the manager, how much time are you going to spend on Rhode Island Avenue? Oh, I'm spending all my time on Rhode Island Avenue. I have a management team in place in my Taking own. Taking care of the other places Taking you're going to be here yeah, to get this going. Six, seven, eight days a week. <laughs> so, so Shane and I worked together 25 years ago when he was still in high school. So we've known each other for our whole lives. He's mm. been through all of my children. So he's not the six ch children that I have. So okay, yeah. So right. he's been around a so, long time. So all right, if you can get that submitted to Carrie, yeah, in the yeah, morning. I forgot about the 23rd. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, because I'm old. It's not your job. Um, no, that's me. <laughs> that's my. That's my line. So if you can do that, um, how do we want to approach that? Do we want to revisit this on the 23rd with a full packet? Or yeah, because it can't go out anyway. Right. So it's it, no harm done. So okay. Yeah, why don't we table this to the next meeting? Just table it to the next meeting. That way, you make sure everything's there. I think the only thing's missing is his quarry check. His quarry check. And his manager and him putting. You have to yeah. pull up the. Um, There's a manager. Change of the manager, manager, form. Change okay. of manager yep. form. Okay. Okay. Chairman, I can get out before the 23rd. And Eric can go there. Yeah. So he can do. How often is someone there? Every day. Yeah. Yep. 
Carrie has your information. Yep. Carrie yeah. has the contact number, so Eric could call. So yeah, so we just got our telephone number. You have, She has my contact num number. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, so I think so that's we'll a good thing. And that way, and it'll be, it's a week from today. Yeah. Okay. I just want to let you know we're going to do a great job. It's going to really be. No, and that sounds yeah. exciting. It just yeah. so you understand, we're not trying to be difficult. Oh, no, I don't get it goes, like that. Once it leaves Fall River, yes. we have no control over what happens when yep. it gets to Boston. Hopefully. Johnny uh, here yeah. is uh, current on everything. Yep. Taxes are good. Yep. All of that's good. Yep. Do we need anything mean, from John at all to come in? They don't have to sign anymore either. No. No, no they used different. to sign the forms. Now, what about the certificate of good standing? So Maybe he's. So um, the owner of the building has per uh, uh, given John his money for his thing. That's went to the DOR. So the DOR could still take eight weeks. I mean, that's how it works with the DOR. So what they, what we know of is that. Um, from my conversation with you and with Jonathan is anything that we do while we're open with him, we're going to pay COD. So we're not going to put him in any, nothing will change. Like if that it's all, screw up the, yeah, yeah. So, and, and that, that's part of our lease. That's, it has to be approved so that we can move forward. So you're leasing the building? Correct, from Charlie, who's the owner of the building. All right, and just basically what's your, your lease situation? Uh, so it's is. in this. So, uh, it, so we have a, we took over Jonathan's current three years, the and, the, and then we have a five-year extension after that. Okay. And we've already spoke to the owner about purchasing his building. Okay. Well, that'll be a change. Yeah. yeah. That'll be a what change? No, you don't change. Yeah. Manager application. Oh. But it's not signed. It used to be a very I put a little place. sticker there, but who yeah. did he put on for the record? He does have it, Shane Caledonia. Then I'm so it is him. Okay, I guess I did. And I, you know what I think it was? I think it was the Corey check because... Right, um, so we don't have a Corey check. Yeah. Right. So okay. you could actually come up and sign this form if you would, please. And it could be subject to the police report. Subject to yeah. the police report. Oh, so so that'll be... Oh, yep. That was my breakdown because yeah, okay. I, we were kind of in the office and we were trying to do this over the phone. That's where I got all of his information. All right, I feel better now. Me too. Me too. I guess I knew to put a sticker to have him sign. Yeah, you I obviously guess. saw it. And then, guess, right. guess you did. No, just guess the, you did go over your paperwork. The, the, the actual no, documents right. are so different. Yeah. Does it even yeah. look like the same? Yeah. They're really um, streamlined. Like they're very nice now, too. I must say. All right. The lease is there. So that's basically all we need. So right. it would be, it could be approved if the board's inclined, subject to the police report on this, this individual. Yeah. Okay. But the transfer, so it would be two. So it would be two transfer, to, to, to yeah. allow the transfer and to approve the manager subject to the police. Yeah. And, and the inspection. Yeah, and I can tell you, we didn't do anything structurally except for put that wall. And you can see, you're going to see it with a cutout in the floor because the cutout is still there. I think there. the only thing you got to do is if you can find the old file mm -hmm. and get the plan to a prior and Double check to make sure it's the same. Yeah, right? and Eric, you should take the plan with you to the site visit. Okay. Carrie will find it. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Yep. Sounds and good. that way we can, we know that when it goes into your file, yes. this is what we approve. Okay, great. Okay. Yes. All right. So. You want to go to no questions. any other questions? No. no questions. You all set? Anything yep. for us? Okay. Good. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the transfer of license. And I'll second that motion. And I'll make a motion. Wait, wait, wait. Transfer oh, of license okay. subject to the police report. I mean well, subject I to the inspection, that. right? Okay. Yes. Right, so there's a motion subject. made and seconded to allow the transfer subject to the inspection. And I'll second that motion. Which is seconded. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I make a motion that we approve the new manager pending the police report. And I'll second that motion. Seven. There's a motion made and seconded to approve the manager subject to the uh, favorable police report. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. Good Thank luck. you Thank so you. much. All right. Thank you. Tomorrow, okay? okay, great. Thank okay. you so much. As you go along, if you need anything, call yeah, us. All right. All Thank right. you very much. Thank you very much. Um, approve old business, new business. We need to approve the minutes of the November 28th, 2018 and December 19th, 2018 minutes. I'll make a motion that we approve the November 28th, 2018 and the December 19th, 2018 minutes. And I'll second that motion. It's a motion made and seconded. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That was the two lights, too, right? Mm -hmm. And we also have to approve um, the population um, estimates. We get the um, this from the 
election commission, correct, Carrie? Yeah. And um, from what they're telling us, it's estimated that as of July 10th, 2019, the okay. estimated population of Fall River will be 89,123. I don't know how they do that, but that's the number. <laughs> that's the number. We, need to, we need to approve that so we can send it to the ABCC, because then they go ahead and figure out the, oh, uh, the, license, the licenses. The licenses. Okay. Sure. I'll so make a motion sure. that we approve the uh, 2019 seasonal population uh, estimation form. And I'll second that motion. It's a motion made and seconded to approve. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make Anything a motion else? that we adjourn. I'll second that motion. So motion made and seconded to adjourn. Anyone else in favor? Anyone opposed? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.